The last pivot is a pivot from hustle to flow. And I struggle with this pivot because my daddy hustled. <laughs> my daddy worked multiple jobs. My daddy worked in the daytime at a factory and he painted cars at night. He hustled to put money on the table, but I'm not talking about that type of hustle. This is the idea that, that we live in this society, this capitalist society that tells us that a human being is valued by what a human being can earn or produce. And that we all in some ways subscribe to this idea because we have a sense of gratification sometimes when we're busy, right? Like if I saw Sean Dove like a couple years from now, I might go something like this. Hey Sean, what's up man, how you doing? Man, I'm doing good, I, you know, I'm doing good. Like, you know, I, uh, I got this new position at this new foundation and uh, you know, I, I'm also a coach here and uh, you know, I'm getting my real estate license too and uh, you know, I'm doing another book and it would be like, man, I'm so busy. And I would do the same. Well, you know what, man, I'm doing this. We would also have an exchange of how busy our lives are because what that signals is that I matter. We believe when we're busy, we matter. Imagine someone saying, you yeah, haven't seen her in a long time, girl, how you doing? And she says, I'm doing great. I'm not doing much at all these days. Uh, <laughs> in fact, girl, I'm gonna leave this grocery store and I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> right? Y'all will probably be like, okay. <laughs> right? This society has conditioned us that when we're busy, we matter. Now this is, this is unique to this society, Western society. And this context called North America is a very unique condition that we have digested and it has in many ways become toxic to our well-being. We eat it, small doses of it every day, this notion of busyness. And it is not until we are forced to slow down, to do the deeper reflection, to have some intentionality about the quality of our time and not the quantity of our time, that we begin to heal ourselves and actually move into a, a place of justice that has always been meant for us. My own experience with this idea came from uh, on um, March 16, 2020. I think y'all remember what happened. The world shut down. So I was preparing, I have a pretty well-oiled routine, y'all. So when I go and speak, I get up early in the morning, I, lay out my clothes, I go to the, you know, I get to catch a flight to the airport. This particular morning, now this is gonna be personal, y'all, so y'all gotta just stick with me, all right? I was uh, preparing to catch a flight, I was in the shower, and um, the dog, my dog was standing by the door, and I'm like, dog. So I jumped out of the shower, and as I stepped down, I slipped, and I, fell on a corner of the step. And I was like, oh Lord, have mercy. I was just down, I couldn't move. And as I tried to move, my body says, sit down, you ain't going nowhere. And I'm like, my mind was like, I got a flight to catch. And so as I looked up, this is what my dog was doing, like looking at me like, I still got to go. And I got to get outside the house and go pee. But I couldn't move, y'all, I couldn't move, for real, I couldn't move. So I didn't know what I was going to do. So somehow it took me 20 minutes to crawl next, to, crawl to my side of my bed, and I got my phone. And I, it was just like six in the morning. I called my wife, and she said, "What's wrong, baby?" And I was like, "I can't move." So she called the ambulance. The ambulance came and got me. They took me to the hospital, and they did X-rays. They saw that I had fractured three ribs and cracked my vertebrae in the back. And I, the doctor said. Um, you ain't going nowhere <laughs> for weeks. So I got home and realized that y'all wasn't going nowhere either. <laughs> it was the same time we shut down. <laughs> we were stuck home together. But during that time, I was forced, we were all forced to reconcile with time. We were all forced to slow down and to determine what was really important in our lives. Some of us started to bake again. Some of us started to read. Some of us started to play the guitar. Some of us started to redecorate the house. Whatever it is you did, your relationship with time changed. 
Now the challenge is, is now. The lesson that you learned during COVID, did you keep that lesson of how time, uh, how we can renegotiate our, 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 our relationship with time and use time for our own health and benefit so that we can actually make space for justice in our, our lives and justice in our communities.